Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. So on today's video, I'm gonna give you my take on this video from 1617.com. Ta-da! And I'm gonna be using these two beautiful oils to make the most precious candle. You wanna see how I make this? Keep on watching. Yes! Back to the channel, darling. Yes. So today, like I promised you on my last live stream last Sunday, I'm gonna be uh, doing. I'm gonna be doing my version of this video that I saw um, on YouTube. This is from 1617.com, and this is the the video that I'm going to recreate. No press support, no problem. Uh, so we're gonna be using the microwave to uh, heat up the wax, and let's see how that works. According to them, they have very good success. So I wanna see how that works. For me, you know, and I just wanna show you uh, my interpretation of this video, okay? So I just wanna uh, give my kudos to uh, Vanessa and her team because they did a wonderful job uh, doing this video, guys. And I think the products are like top notch. And yeah, you can never go wrong. So I'm gonna link everything down below on the on the comments uh, below. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna be using my candlelight collection, my vessel that I'm gonna be using for my line. Uh, this is the Evermore. Uh, also in black, they, it also comes in white. So and I'm gonna be using the, the wick kit that comes for this particular vessel. I'm gonna be double wicking this and I'm gonna be using this to fasten uh, the wicks, okay? For wicks, I'm gonna be using double CDN number three. I'm really uh, hoping that this gives me the best result because so far I tried all different kinds of uh, fragrance oils from 1617 and using this combination of double CDN uh, on this Evermore gives me wonderful results every time, okay? So, I'm gonna be using Florencia. Oh my God, this flowery uh, oil, guys, it's just, it's so romantic. So like, I mean, you fall in love with someone right away, you know? It's very uh, it's very high-end, very chic, very, it's not, doesn't smell sheepy. It smells like very like deep. Um, this has, I'm gonna read you the notes, uh, Bulgarian Rose. Let me put my glasses on guys because I don't wanna give you the wrong information. Bulgarian Rose, White Orchid, and Tongan Vanilla, okay? So, yes, I can't wait. And guys, I mean, if you look on the side of the bottle in here, it says in here, use the recommendations. So always go by that, you know? So this one, uh, you can use for, for of course, for candles, up to 12%. Uh, you can use for soap, up to 3%. For lotion, up to 6.67%. And the flash point is 200, uh, is less than 200 um, Fahrenheit degrees, okay? So, you cannot go wrong with this, guys. This is gonna be one of, one of my uh, fragrances that I'm gonna be using for my candle line. Candle Romance, guys, it's coming up soon, okay? Yes! So, let me just gather all the materials that we need, guys. I'm gonna, put the amount of wax that we need. Now, by the way, I just did the numbers. And for this particular candle, because I'm gonna be using an 8% fragrance load, we need, ta-da! And I put everything in here on my candle, candle making worksheet. Okay, so we need, for soy bliss, I'm gonna be using soy bliss wax, which is my favorite wax, as you all know, 13.15 uh, ounces of wax, okay? Now, for the fragrance load of 8%, I need 1.6, 1.6 ounces of uh, fragrance, uh, fragrance oil, okay? So, let me measure the wax, put it in here, and let's go to the microwave. Yes! So let me get, the, let me get the, the wax. It's on a box in here. 4.1, 8.3, 11.6, 14.1. Let me just push this. 14.1, so we need perfection! Okay, we need to wait for gas oil. Okay, we need 1.6 ounces. Okay, so I have in here. Let me just wash my hands, I'll be right back. A little secret. So I've been playing with the oils from 1617.com. What I mean, what I've been finding out guys, is like you can mix them together, okay? A Florencia, I'm gonna mix with a lumbar street and it's gonna be epic, okay? So let's 
my glasses on because I need to see. Uh, Florencia is gonna be the main player, guys. So I'm gonna pull one ounce of Florencia. Okay. So I have in here one ounce of Florencia. And 0.6 is gonna be lumbar strip. Okay, so we have my oil mixed together. So one ounce of Lorencia, 0.6 ounce lumber sweet. Let me put that on my notes. Okay, ta da! That's gonna make a perfect combination, guys. Oh my god, let me just mix it. Guys, it's very good for you also to have. Uh, these pipettes because sometimes I take these uh, like for example on the other candle that I made guys I use a milliliter the milliliters on the pipettes are marked by lines in here they have like marks in here one milliliter two milliliter so you go by that you know and you can just you know Customize your own uh, oil blend, you know, to whatever you, you want. I mean, these oils are beautiful by, the, uh, by themselves, but I'm making this a, as a tester for me and just see how I like it, okay? Hey guys, so before we go to the microwave, I need to pre uh, prep my, my vessel. I need to double wick it with my CDN wicks and secure it with me with the securing device. And also, guys, you don't have to, on this instant because this glass container retains a lot of heat you don't need to take the wax to 230 you can take it to 210 because uh, the heat is going to be preserved by the glass okay and don't forget you need to have a protection for this so you're going to need a, a, a like a mitten a glove or something that is heat heat safe because this is going to get very hot and we don't want you burning okay so safety first okay so let me just uh prep the vessel and i'll be right back okay we're back so to prep the vessel you know what i always do I like to clean my containers with alcohol before I prep them because you don't know what, what kind of residue they have after manufacturing, you know? So I just take alcohol, alcohol which is completely clean. So guys, I just had a shipment, uh, a shipment is coming tomorrow from 1617, I ordered my new Evermore um, alabaster, I think it's called. Yeah, and uh, the balls and the, the and the cylinder in white. And I ordered the, uh, the balls in black to make a set of these. And now I'm working, uh, it's, I'm having a difficulty guys because I need to do branding for my for my brand, you know, so I'm gonna need to ask people so, for suggestions, you know, uh, but that's another video, okay? So we'll talk about it during my live stream on Sunday. Okay, so this is clean and dry inside. And be careful when you uh, put anything in here in the inside, guys, because this, the paint, it's on the inside, uh, so you don't wanna scratch it, okay? So be careful when you uh, work with this. So I'm gonna put the, at the bottom, I have my glues in here, let me just go get my uh, attach, stuff to attach it. For, for those of you that are new to my channel, I just wanna show you how I prep my, my vessels, okay? So I'm gonna, I use a straw that I cut. I think to me the easiest thing to use for my, so then I take the glue dot in here, the, the glue sticker and then just put it This is so easy, guys. I mean, people have different contraptions. Yeah, just find whatever works for you. Okay, so I grab it by the, by the end. And because I, ha I know the, the placement, so all you have to do is just, play, just put it in there. And you know, it's, it's so easy and it's, it's placed. Let's take the other one. So you don't have to think about, oh my God, it's gonna be too much, it's gonna be too far, it's gonna be too close. It's gonna be perfect all the time, okay?
it's all about things you, things you find to make your life easier and faster, you know, it's... Next one. It's perfection. And now you take this off. And that there, look, beautiful. And now I like to use like a wooden stick or something and I like to press on this on on the wig's base because I wanna make sure that I have full contact and that this is gonna come out once uh, the, uh, the wax hits uh, the container. You wanna make sure that these are really like uh, pressed really well. So this is what I do, I like to press, you see? All around to make sure they have full contact in all the sides. This is gonna be the only chance that you're gonna to have to do this and to prevent this from coming out because there's nothing more stressful than just working on a beautiful candle and see your wigs float away. So make sure that you secure this very well and then you take this placer goes to the left and one goes to the right and more easier than these guys so this is perfection okay look at that that's not going anywhere okay okay guys now i'm gonna take you to the kitchen i'm gonna warm this up i'm gonna take it uh the thermometer with me and then i'm gonna bring it back in here i don't want to move this from here i don't want to keep it in here as a matter of fact I'm gonna put this inside the, uh, the candle closet because I uh, this room is it's getting chillier because this of course it's, it's fall weather so I want this to solidify slowly okay and let me just put it in the closet and I'll be right back okay guys we're in the kitchen so I'm having here the container with the wax 15.6 ounces of wax so this wax and I'm gonna put it in the microwave I'm gonna put it for five minutes I make sure that I put some pepper towel at the bottom because I don't want any accidents so I'm gonna put it for five minutes on high and let's wait okay I'm gonna I have in here my thermometer and I have in here my glove for to take it out because it's gonna be very hot okay and I'm gonna show you uh, after I finish let me just bring you down so you can see the microwave at the temperature but I'm gonna be checking it guys from here I can see if it gets uh if if, if I think that it's getting too uh, too liquidy very fast I'll check the temperature, you know, and I also have in here something to stir it. And I'm not gonna add the oil in here, I'm gonna add the oil right at the, at the candle Before bar. I, this is done, it's three more minutes to go. I just have to say that uh, honestly, I will not be using this for my candle line. Uh, I think uh, this is good for people that are starting out and they don't have uh, any space or they don't have, well, maybe you have limited income that you cannot get depressed upon. But to me, this is not feasible to be making, uh, let's say, uh, five or six candles at a time because this, you know, you can only use the microwave once for every candle. So I'm just trying to see, uh, I'm just trying, what I'm reviewing here is the quality of the candle itself. Because for that matter, I mean, I have my grill that I got, uh, my pancake grill that you can just put the, the stuff in there and you just heat it up in there like a stove. I wouldn't do it in the stove because I think the stove is more direct uh, flame or heat. I don't know, I don't know. Everybody has their own preferences, you know, whatever works for you, just, you know, just, just go by that. Okay, so I can see now it's been three minutes already and I can see that it's gonna need more than five minutes. But after the five minutes, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna take the temperature to see how much, uh, more I need to go. And then after the five minutes, you go in on increments of uh, 30 seconds, okay? Until you reach the temperature. I'm trying to reach the temperature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up to uh, 215. Ooh, Vanessa was not kidding, guys. This is pretty hot. You have to be careful. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. So let's see the, the temperature again. I'm not liking this because it's not giving me the accurate temperature. Now it says 190, okay? I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it back for 30 seconds. It's because this is transparent, guys. I'm gonna put it back for 30 seconds. And this is, I don't think, I'm not gonna trust this thermometer. Uh, 
I don't think it's ready yet, but the glass gets extremely hot. The glass gets too hot for me. It could be dangerous, very dangerous, you know? The Presto pot, it doesn't get hot, you don't touch it. Um, accidents can happen anywhere. Yes, I know that, but you know, it's, to me, that I'm kind of clum clumsy, this would be uh, too dangerous for me. Yes! This is what happens, guys, when you do testing, okay? You have to look at all the different options, all the different uh, scenarios that can happen, you know? It, this is why I love baking candles, because it's all about uh, finding, finding new things, you know? It's like finding new things uh, that happens to you. Okay, let me put this, let me see if it's ready. See, I just spilled a little bit on the floor. That's not good. Temperature ready. To 12, okay. So I'm gonna take it to the candle bar. I'll take you right there. I'm gonna add the fragrance oil immediately. I'm gonna stir. The good thing about this is that it, uh, the glass holds the heat. It's one, it's 199, it's fine. Ideally it will be over 200, but 199. I'm fine with that, okay? Let me see if I can just bring you over a little bit higher. Okay. I'm so pleased we don't have to mix that much. 30 seconds should be fine. Pour and I, don't forget, guys, you have to wear the gloves in here. This is the, the thing that I don't like. Uh, so, but it's all about experience, okay? And let me put some paper towels in here because I don't know if this is gonna spill. I want to prevent. Yes, still very hot. Okay, so let's pour this. Come on, baby. Beautiful. The city is amazing. Okay, I think I have my measure wrong because I have a lot of leftover here. Oh boy, I have a lot of leftover there and the nothing I can, let me, if I use my pet, Take some out. Perfect. You see guys, you have to always improvise. When stuff like that happens, just improvise. Just take a pipette and just remove all the extra wax. Somehow the numbers were incorrect. Okay, I know what I did wrong, guys. I know what I did wrong. I added too much wax. I added 15.6 uh, ounces of wax. It was supposed to be 11, 11, eh. much less than that. But this is not gonna go, this is not gonna go to waste, guys. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a milk. The clamshells that I got from West Sound Candle. Uh, this is the one that you use for to make samples and it's for people. So I'm gonna use that wax to make samples. Yeah, nothing goes to waste. Things happen for a reason, guys. Nothing goes to waste. Just close this. Perfect. I think I'm gonna have more enough to make two. You see what I told you when I, when I told you I was clumsy? I am clumsy. Okay, so nothing went to waste. You see? Ta-ta! Perfection, guys. Always think of the different scenarios like I just did. Let me show you. So I have in here the beautiful candle. Be closer, I have in here the beautiful candle that we made. And we have in here the different uh, samples. Uh, these are the, the clamshells from uh, 
with some candle supply. Okay, so I'm gonna let all this uh, set. And I'm gonna close the, the door to this closet, guys, because this closet gets very warm. I mean, it doesn't get warm, but it gets warmer than the room, okay? And we want everything to, okay. That cup's still uh, very hot, so I'm gonna pop it down before it gets too cool. So again, that's another reason why I don't like using the microwave because you cannot handle this without getting burned. This is very hot. I'm not gonna put it in the sink because it will crack the glass. So, okay, so I'm gonna leave it in here, guys. So I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, guys. It is, uh, it is something good. It is a good technique to do if you are in a hurry, if you don't have any other, uh, if you don't have any access to any, uh, uh, to any heat element guys and uh, let's say you are uh, let's say you are in a hotel room or whatever it is you say oh my god i need to do this this kind of a tomorrow's show whatever it is and so you have all the all the ingredients but you don't have the you know um where, where to heat up the wax so it could be good okay but i will not do it for me you know i know some people love it uh for them you know whatever works for you just go for it guys and just congratulations if it works for you uh anyway so i'm gonna let all these uh melts uh solidify and this also the candle is beautiful city is amazing guys okay don't forget guys uh to see me next sunday uh october mm, mm, anyway this sunday coming up uh, i'm gonna put the date um on the description box uh, for my live stream at 12 noon pacific standard time okay guys so uh, again i want to thank uh, everybody at 1617.com vanessa thank you darling and i'll see you in the next one yay